It's unconscionable. It is an outrage. And now we're working from way behind. Assembly Democrat John Berzicelli launched a political attack against the president during online budget hearings for New Jersey's Department of Health, pointing to Bob Woodward's new book that reported Donald Trump knew back on February 7th that COVID-19 was highly virulent and spread through the air. Democrats asked Jersey's health commissioner. You would have shut down earlier had you heard what, the, what Bob Woodward had heard from the president. Oh, absolutely. If we had had shut down, basically shut down the long-term care facilities even a month earlier uh, since we had our first outbreak in assisted living around March 11th. We would have stopped that outbreak. Commissioner Judith Persichelli said the longer lead time let the virus spread like wildfire, especially through long-term care facilities, ultimately leading to 7,000 deaths there among the nation's highest. She said health officials would have started screening workers much earlier and quoted a new study. We do know now, the most recent study, that 45% uh, percent of the spread and long-term care was the result of staff working at multiple facilities. That study just came out over the weekend. That's a, a, a startling um, uh, percentage. Republicans bristled. I gotta say, Commissioner, I'm disappointed. You know, we can blame everything on the president, but there's, you know, it, I think one of the things this administration is lacking the most by far taken any responsibility. We all make mistakes. Republican Hal Wirths noted the U.S. outbreak started in the Seattle nursing home and said New Jersey should have built a fortress around long-term care. But Percy Kelly said she called the Seattle facility in March. By then, the virus had already spread. It was already in long-term care. So what would I have done differently? Whatever we did in March, I would have done in February. Looking forward to fall and the possible twindemic of flu season plus a COVID-19 surge, the commissioner said her department's monitoring supplies of PPE and staffing plans. She said if a vaccine's ready to go this fall, the proposed $2.2 billion budget can cover distribution, but supplies could get tight. She couldn't say whether the vaccine would be mandatory. But Republicans pressed for answers on another hotly contested issue, why the Murphy administration considers it safe to stand in line at the MVC, but not to vote in person for this November 3rd election. So I'm just trying to figure out what what's the difference um, between voting or standing in line, hundreds of people in line at MVCs. Are you saying it's not safe at the MVC, or are you saying it is safe and that voting would be safe if you had social distancing lines and masks, as, uh, as I would advocate for two? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, not, I, I'm, not, I'm not registering an opinion on either or. Um, I just want you to know that the Department, Department of Health uh, stands for uh, maintaining the health of and safety of all the people of New Jersey. Proving that budgets and politics remain inseparable. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.